Hello everybody and we'll get started here in about three more minutes. Hope everyone's had a wonderful week. Happy Friday. Happy Good Friday as a matter of fact. My goodness, it's that time of the year again. Has everybody got their, their eggs, their eggs colored? I remember when I was a kid, I always looked forward to Easter and my mother would get tur go to a farm and buy turkey eggs to, to make my Easter eggs out of. And boy, howdy, all the kids wanted to trade their eggs for mine because they were, turkey eggs are like five times as large as a chicken egg is. <laughs> it was really, really interesting and fun back then, of course. Anyway, tonight is another episode of our diamond painting, and I will be getting, I'm in the process of cutting a quilt top for a new, a new quilt top piecing series that'll be coming here very, very shortly. We'll be debuting that probably this weekend. Hi, Linda. Oh, wonderful, Linda. Oh, I have two Lindas. Linda B. Awesome. And Linda R. Oh, Eastern New Mexico. I love New Mexico. Oh my gosh. Yes, Linda B. The turkey eggs. <clears throat> they were huge. They were almost like you've seen goose eggs, right? That, that are really big. Well, turkey eggs are a little bit larger than goose eggs, but not as large, of course, as an ostrich egg. But a lot of the turkey eggs my mother would purchase back, now this was a long time ago, everybody. I'm not a spring chicken. But a lot of the turkey eggs would have double yolks in them. Hi, Sarah. Early happy Easter to you, too. I love the jelly beans also. Still do, <laughs> even though I'm not supposed to eat them. <laughs> it's all good. Oh my goodness, but it is cloudy. I think it might rain tonight. I don't know. But the weather has finally warmed up, so that's a good thing. It was chilly um, the earlier part of the week here. Yes, they do. Ba Bainies, they do. They lay colored eggs. And so do, a, there's a chicken from South America called, and I'll probably not say the name of it right, Aracana. But they lay blue, green, and pink eggs. You don't have to dye those. Pretty cool. I love I love chickens anyway. It was one of my favorite animals I had on the farm when I had the ranch. And I love my chickens. And they each have their own unique personality. I go out and sit with my chickens sometimes. Because I had a couple of them that were true pets. <laughs> and they'd crawl up in my lap and just sit there and cluck away the whole time. The whole time I was in the barn, if I would let them, they just loved sitting in my lap. They were lap chickens. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Oh, that's fine, Christina. It's so good to see you. Yeah, so it is 6 o'clock, so I haven't said this for a while. Happy Feature Friday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So my last episode... You saw me working on this, and this is my, um, this is my what? This is my diamond painting pencil case, but I'm going to use it for a sewing box to keep needles and stuff like that in. And I'll give you a good close-up picture of it. But the next diamond project, these did come in this week, and I'm going to get these in a closer up view but this is a 12 by 16 diamond painting stained glass looking mushroom painting and i'm gonna take this all apart and show you before i get started with my my pencil sewing case here hi carol oh good carol i'm so happy to see you here <clears throat> yes and let's see what else so what I have a quilt kit that I'm cutting. I thought I could get it cut out in time for tonight, but it just didn't happen. It's an Asian fabric 
panel quilt top. So it's all big pieces, but there was a lot of cutting. And I'm going to get that done and possibly do that tomorrow night. If not tomorrow night, I, may, I think I'm going to, you know what, we're going to, I'm going to have a special Easter Sunday night live. There we go. Easter Sunday night live. Hi, Bernadette. I miss you, Carol. And big hugs. I saw your doggy pictures and your new baby, and they're so beautiful. Hi, Gia. Gia Willard. It's so good to see you on here from Troy, Michigan. I love all my friends in Michigan. I love all my friends, period, regardless of where you're at. So I'm going to swap to the other camera, and we're going to get going on this close-up camera. Oh, thank you, Christina. Puffy is over here on his couch, stretched out, snoring away, as usual. <laughs> he didn't even raise his head up when I said his name. He's out of it. <laughs> I know, Carol. Another quilt, right? <laughs> but I do have a red silk dress shirt I'm making for myself that I'm going to finish on camera. I've got still have some embroidery to do on it, so you'll get to see that before I start putting it all together. Oh, I hear you, Bernadette. Thank you. Thank you for hanging in there. I tell you, everybody, the last the last six weeks have been hectic and busy, and I'm home, and I am just surrounded by stuff to get caught up with doing. So, oh, my goodness. Oh, wonderful, Bernadette. See, more Michigan people. I love Michigan. It's beautiful up there. And I will tell you what. It's close to mushroom hunting time, hence the reason I decided my first big um, diamond painting I'm going to do live online is this mushroom one here. Let me, let me, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to lay the parts out down here on the table. But I want it on this camera so you can see the big canvas first, and you'll get an idea of what that looks like. I do have, I did get several of these in, so if you're interested in them, they are $30 including shipping. So if you want one of these, it's going to be at least a week before I start this. There's plenty of time for you to get one and do one with me live on camera. And I can get more as far as that goes. So once I take it out, notice I'm going to open it up here. And here are all the diamond beads for the painting. Oh, I hear you, Bernadette. It's so funny. I just glanced up and saw I'm surrounded by UFOs, and I did not think of sewing UFOs. I thought of the other kind, but I caught myself real quick. <laughs> it's okay. UFOs are a good thing. It gives us something to do, do when we, we have to stay in. But these are all the different colored... These are all the diamond beads. Look at them sparkle. That's why it's called diamond painting, everybody. And they're numbered. Then here's the applicator tray and the applicator tool. I'll be doing, I'll be showing you, talking more about this in just a little bit. But here it is, everybody. And this is actually real canvas. The size of it is 30 by 40 centimeters, which is approximately 12 by 16 inches. Check it out. Isn't that beautiful? Stained glass with beautiful mushrooms. Oh my goodness. If a person wanted to, you could actually, you could actually um, sew this into something if you had the notion to do that. But if you notice, it's got a shiny film over it and when you peel it back, this is all sticky. I just barely touch it and look, it's still there. And that's what adheres all the diamonds to your painting before, once you have them all applied, you finish it off um, with the coating and that seals it, protects it, removes any stickiness that is left, and then you can frame it or hang it on the wall, do whatever you want to do with it. But isn't that pretty? I just th saw this and thought, yep, this is going to be the first big one I do live on camera. Because I love mushrooms anyway. And boy, howdy, this one is really fun to do. Diamond painting, it is very relaxing. I don't want to say therapeutic, but it's very, medita it's very meditative. 
It's a great way just to chill and relieve stress. And oh my goodness, I learned about this while I was gone on my cross country odyssey <laughs> in in February and March. I was at the AQS show in Daytona Beach, and someone was set up set up there with a diamond painting booth, and that's how I learned about it. I purchased this from them to see if I really wanted to get my feet wet into this and go down another rabbit hole, and I fell headlong into it, and I love doing it. Yes, Bernadette, $30 with shipping. If you're interested in one of those, you can just email me, and I can send you an invoice. Let me put in my email address here in the chat window. It is contact at quiltsbydale.com. There we go. So if you're interested in one of those, email me and I'll get invoicing and all that fun stuff and get one shipped out to you. The, it all goes through, we, ha, we have a small quilt shop here in Illinois and all of that is handled through the shop. The invoice actually comes from our point of sale system. so. Everything is nice and secure through Square Processing. I never see your credit card number, everybody, just so you know that. Okay, now then, all of that being said, what's really cool about this one, and I'm gonna get some of these for us also, but it has two compartments that open up. Looky there, and looky there. Isn't that cool? Super duper cool. I was, we were driving a few days ago and I looked over, it's by the river bottoms because our little town here sits on the banks of the Illinois River. And I glanced, I was in the passenger seat and I glanced over in a field and in a wooded area and there was a log on the ground and it was covered in some type of mushrooms. So I told Mike, I said, we have to turn around the car and go check that out. And we did, because I thought it was Dryad Saddle, but it wasn't. But anyway, it was called conch mushrooms. They, they're hard like a stone. Some people use them to paint and to carve like you would with tusks, with old, old well bone, that type of carving stuff. Super hard like a bone. But anyway, it wasn't what I thought it was. <laughs> okay, let me turn to the other camera and we're going to get started on our, on our project. Let's see here. All right, here. There we go. So there's eight different colored stones in this project I'm working on here. And I bought these little plastic containers. Here they are all screwed together with nothing in them. But I got these at Walmart. <clears throat> but it was a good way, I thought, to access all the colored dot crystal beads and stuff. And the beads are actually made out of resin, but they're faceted like a diamond is. And that's what makes them sparkle. You can see how sparkly they are. So the first one I have poured out into my little tray here is number six, because this is just like painting by numbers, everybody. Check it out. Why you leave a plastic on here? If I didn't, my hand would be touching the sticky. You peel back enough of it so you can work on an area, and then your hands don't get on the sticky part. So let me get it close, and I'm working right in here on that light green. But let that focus for a second and you'll see that each one of those colored areas are numbered. There we go. I'm doing number six right now. And all there, it's so easy to do everybody. So what you get in a kit are the beads you need for your project. You get this little piece of wax. Okay, this has plastic covering over it. Because the way we pick up each little bead, take that off, we take our applicator tip and we just punch it down into the sticky wax. Other side. You can only do it on one side. There we go. 
And what it does, it fills up the end of that tip with wax. You can see that red there. Okay. Then we take our applicator and we center that tip over one of those little beads with light pressure. It just picked it up. There it is. And then I'm going to place it. This is uh, for the number six areas. And I'm just going to place it on the sticky and lift it up. And there it is. Right there. It just applied that. Let me get my close-up glasses on, my sewing glasses, so I can see that. And here we go. Okay. Here we go. Let's do another one. And after you after you start doing this, and you kind of get a rhythm down, it goes really quickly. You can see how easy that is. Very relaxing. It's nice to have a nice cup of coffee. Or if you really want to relax, you could have a sip on a little glass of wine while you're doing this. Have some nice music playing in the background. And it's very relaxing. You can sit here and apply your diamonds. See how fast that goes there. And all you're doing, it's just like pinging by numbers. We're doing all the areas that have number six on them right now. Easy peasy, blim and squeezy. See how quickly that went? So there we go. Now I have five crystals to go into that little area right there. You can see the number sixes. There we go. And then I'm going to stop right there. I'm actually going to roll this back the other way and come up to this other end because there's a lot of sixes right in here. I'm going to try to get all of the sixes in. Oh, Bernadetta, that mushroom picture is going to be beautiful. And once, once this one is done, I will, on one of these diamond painting episodes, I will show you how to finish it off with the adhesive stuff, the fixer. Now, there are other applicator tools where you can pick up more than one at a time but the one that came with this one it's just a, for this particular kit it just picked up <clears throat> a single diamond at a time Quite honestly, that's all there is to it. It's easy to do. But it's also a good time to reflect. And what I do when I'm when I'm doing this and I'm not on camera, I will actually 
<clears throat> be thinking about an other project, perhaps one of my quilting or sewing projects that I'm planning out in my head, and it's a great time when you're doing this to be able to really focus and contemplate and plan a new project. It is, Bernadette, it is like an acrylic liquid, exactly. And you just brush on a very thin coat of it. It's a clear, it's a clear liquid. I'm gonna push some of these up out of my way. I don't wanna turn one over. <laughs> I just put in some more diamonds in my tray, though. I about used up what I had out. So check it out. Let's top off our number six crystals for right now. I'm going to set these back out of my way now that we've seen all of that. Here we go. Here's the one we're working on. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour some of these crystals into my little tray here. Check it out. Okay. Then I'm just going to sh shake it gently from side to side. And what happens is the bottom of that tray has ridges on it. And they once they're caught in the ridges, they turn right side up. Check it out. I'm just going to come back up here and continue with my number six crystals. I'm trying to decide what I'm thinking about right now. I'm actually thinking about what I'm going to fix Sunday for dinner. And I want to do something different than have a ham. So I'm actually thinking I have some whole, some whole chickens in the deep freeze. I'm actually thinking about making some chicken and actual chicken with homemade egg noodles is what I'm thinking of for one of the dishes. We'll see. You know, we have spiral cut hams in the deep freeze and all that fun stuff. We're just picking up our little diamonds and placing them right on top of their numbers. And let's get some more wax. Let's see here. Here we go. Once it is full, it won't pick up anymore.
depending on the weather on Sunday, we may even go take us a nice little hike just to see where our spots are, what our spots are looking like this year for mushrooms. So I think we're going to have a good, a good season for mushrooms, the way the weather's been around here. There's been plenty of moisture. The temperatures, we're just waiting for the temperature to kick in to where it needs to be. And it will all be good. Oops. But these really do sparkle like a piece of jewelry with all those facets cut into the the resin. They look like little bitty diamonds. Totally cool. Give this a shake here. Every one of them turned right side up on that one. Yay. that section well, there's not much left to do I'm gonna have a bunch of these left over it looks like okay, I got two small little sections there and there and there and that's it for that color oh there's some right up here cool let's pour a little bit more in here gently shake it side to side. Most of them line up then. Check it out. Okay. Let's apply some more diamonds. I don't have to put a lot of pressure to pick them up. I do apply a little more pressure after I get them placed, simply because that way they adhere nice and good to the stickiness of that. Okay. Let's see, right over here. Hold that up and back a little bit. It's nice to have that plastic on there to rest your hand on because then your hand does not stick <laughs> to the painting area itself, the canvas. Okay, now we can come up here. I have two, four, seven more of this color, and all of this color will be completely done on this pencil, on this little case. And three right up here.
two and three. And I believe, let me check, double check here, but that is all. There we go. I just took it all the way off on purpose. Here we go. That is all of number six. Number six is done. Woohoo, there's eight different colors. <clears throat> so then you can, the way this is made, it'll very easy to pour back into a baggie or a little these little cups. I personally like the little cups, the little bags. If you just tear it, cut a corner of them out, you can put them out. <clears throat> and I always, I just find this way more secure having these and these are very inexpensive as far as that goes. So there's number six. So those are done. I'm going to put those to the side so that I don't pick it back up tonight. Okay. So next, let me go back up to this end. Because I was originally working from top to bottom. Oh, Christina, what do you do if you put one in the wrong place? Well, Christina, when you first do it, it hasn't set. So you can, with a pair of tweezers, get that back off and replace it with the proper one. So you have plenty of time before that adhesive sets to replace them or move them around if you need to. Okay. There we go. Let's try that one. So we need another color. We are going to do... The next one I see is that dark blue one, which is number eight. And I think we'll do that one next. No, it's not number eight, is is number it's actually number one. Yes. Each little baggie is numbered, so I cut the number off and kept it in with the corresponding jar so I'd know what was what. Okay. So we're gonna do, these These are beautiful dark blue sapphire-y colors. We're gonna do those next. And then we'll just shake it side to side. That one really shows up on this as far as them being right side up. The other color I just did was very close to the color of the tray, but there you can see how those are set now. Oh, no, Chris, Christina, I, I'm the king of clots, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If I can lose something or misplace it, yeah, you're looking at the king of clots when it comes to that. Okay. Let's get, some, get these started. pick that up. Dark blue, those are really, for me, they're hard to see where each one goes to be right on top of the number. There we go. You can see I just did that there, Christine. I just scooched it before I set it down really hard, really, and set it in place. So there is, you do have a window to actually reposition these things.
Okay. Now up here I have everything covered, so I can kind of rest my hand up there and not have to worry about my, fit, my side of my hand getting stuck to the adhesive. Yes, but Sunday I'm going to piece that quilt top on my serger. So Sunday is going to be a serger day. And we'll get that all pieced in one day. It'll just take, I don't know, a couple hours probably. It'll go pretty fast because there's a lot of borders on it around a panel. That's what makes it so quick. There we go. Looks nice. See there, look at that. There, there. And notice <clears throat> there's two more petal tips down here, and then right around the circle in the very center is a large crystal. And I'm actually going to put that large crystal in before. Ooh, wee, that was stuck, that stuck on there real good. I pressed that down way too hard. Okay. Here are my, I had two of these large crystals, but there's, I only needed one of them. So I'm actually going to put that on first. That's the center of that flower. Check that out. Look at that big, look at that big crystal there. Isn't that pretty? Now that does look like a diamond, everybody. It's clear and white like a diamond. For or other color diamonds, of course, but it really looks nice right there in the center of that. Boy, you can really see that sparkle. It's right there. Okay. Now we're going to fill up with the sapphire colored diamonds around it. And I will tell you one thing, if you're going to do this, make sure you have plenty of good light. Because I can tell you, this dark colored on this particular one is very difficult. I need more light on it is what I need. Let me see here. Can I get that over here? Yeah, let me see if I can move one of my lights, everybody. Hold on. Did you decide to wake up? You did. Yay, there was enough. I've been resetting my studio. There we go. I think that might be a little better. Let's see here. 
Oh, that helped. That helped a lot. Okay. I'm actually going to scoot my tray and camera down this way towards the light just a little bit. You don't you probably couldn't hardly tell, but I was actually moving the camera and this pad all together. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now you can really see that sparkle if I hold it up with that extra light on it. Okay. So, let's get some more of these sapphire blue diamonds attached. Oh, that helped me a lot, everybody. That was happened to be in one of my hot lights that has the main power head on it and then a lighted magnifying arm on it as well. Okay, now you can see that it's applied there and there, and then right there would be color number two, which is this really pale icy blue color, which would be the next color we would do. Anyway, let's go back and get some more of this dark blue attached. The rest of it's pretty easy to see. This is, for, for my eyesight, <laughs> this is the hardest color for me to see as far as putting the dark blue on the dark blue background. But the lights definitely helped that process quite a bit. I was just reading the comment section up on my my big monitor. The K I T T K I T T Y or K I T T I E S word. I'm spelling it because P U F F I N. That he loves it when somebody says kitty. Oh my gosh, he didn't even wake up at that. <laughs> Aww. Bernadette, I'm jealous. I'd like to have some kitties again. I love all animals. I'm not sure how Puffin would react to it, however. <clears throat> He wouldn't try to hurt one, but a cat would probably consider his movements aggressive because he likes to play. Okay, one more there. That pedal will be done. Here we go. Ooh. You can see right there and right there. Okay. Oh, absolutely. I would love to see a picture of Corey with his princess. Wow, I really got that stuck on there tight. Hold on. There we go. Dang. It's still still sticky as like it's supposed to be. But I had that on there way too tight. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna leave that off for right this second. That little shake from side to side. We're cheating on dinner tonight, everybody. Mike is going to go pick up pizza for us here soon. I'm going to shut this down at 7 tonight so we can have dinner. Okay. And then tomorrow I'm teaching doing some private tutoring on a long arm. I'm doing that at the student's house about oh, half an hour north of here. Yay! So that one is completely done now. Let me look at something here. That doesn't look right. It looks really out of place right there, but whatever. It is what it is. It's good. If I decide I can't live with that, I will have to take it off. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's get some more of those done. Yeah, but this is what what is called diamond painting, everybody. It's really amazing. Gives whole new meaning to the the verbiage, paint by numbers, right? Because you're literally <laughs> applying these right on top of a number on those colored sections. There we go. Okay. Pour some more of those out. We're going to get all of this color done tonight also. Okay. Sewing wise, I have been busy, busy making samples, um, new samples for classes this year. 
<clears throat> okay. Woohoo. This has three more of those little sections to go in this color of crystal, the number one color, which is like a beautiful, rich sapphire blue, will be complete. Okay, one more there in the center, one more petal with this color and that will be complete. Woohoo! Okay. a little bit more out in that tray Bernadette I got that box there at um, the AQS Daytona Beach quilt show and that's where I saw this stuff at and decided it would be something I'd like to to do and do videos on and also carry in my shop here a little quilt shop here That's actually what we're getting. We're getting the Supreme Pizza Bernadette. <laughs> Let's see, one more right there. Now I just have this flower tip right here. Let me turn that around. So I got all that dark blue there done right here on this tip. This next. Come on, here we go. See how I was sliding that around, Christina? When you first apply those, it takes a little while for that glue to really adhere well to the back of these, these diamonds.
But yes, very relaxing and meditative. And you get a really cool item once it's all done. Okay, make great gifts also. Okay, so there's that. Look at all the pretty blue. Look at that. Look at that sparkle with the, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, Bernadette, the mushroom block too. Yes. No, the mushroom block, I did I did open a wholesale account, so I am buying those wholesale for resale purposes. <clears throat> but I'm talking to another company where I can turn some of my artwork into this as well, my original artwork. They would manufacture them, blah, blah, blah. I thought that would be kind of cool as well. Okay, so we're done with that color. Let's put those back in the little container here. Mike just left to go pick up dinner, so when he gets back, well, I'm going to shut this down and then go have dinner, but it'll be a little bit yet. Okay, so there's that one done. That can go over here into the done area, the finished area. Okay, next, let's see here. I could finish number four pretty easily. And that is this lighter colored amethyst. We're gonna do this one next. See, so you just shake it back and forth. They just line right up on there. With the crystals up on top. Hi, Denise. Okay, these are number four. Number four, right there. Okay, right here. Oops, my finger stuck to it that time. I'm doing it without the protective plastic coating on for right now. Okay, then right down here is some number fours. I may come, I will, but I tell you what everybody, I will come do another episode three tomorrow night so I can finish this pillbox up tomorrow night before we start on our new a new quilting project on Sunday night Sunday's episode and I'm gonna do that Sunday night because I know everybody has plans during the day on Easter Sunday let's see here Come on, there we go. Those are much easier for, to see the numbers, those number fours are. Check that out. Right here. Okay, I think that might be all of the number fours. Let's get a closer look here and see if I missed any. Do not see any. So number five, I'm gonna do number five next because there's not a whole lot to that one either. There we go, we'll 
set number four to the side. Number five are clear ones, like white diamonds. Put that down in there. Oops. Give them a good look. Those really sparkle. Oh my goodness. They really refract the light. Check that out. Like a little bed of white diamonds. Let's see here. Those are so pretty. I like those. They really sparkle. As you can see, once you get the knack of doing it, they they lay in pretty dark, pretty fast. <clears throat> With anything, when you first start doing something, it takes a little while to build up that confidence level. And that's with anything. With anything. Okay. Let's get these number fives down. Sure, there's none left. Number five. That's all the number five. Woohoo! Get that out down there, though. There we go. A little outline of that heart shape there. The white diamonds. Okay. Those are complete. Let's see. And everybody, I'm going to call that one for tonight because I just heard the car pull up in the driveway. And let me swap to my other one. We're going to finish this tomorrow night. It'll be the same bat time, same bat channel. Let's see here. Um, go to this camera. There we go. Hello there. <laughs> okay. Woohoo. Oh, yeah, Bernadette, it is. Hold on. Oh, okay. It starts at 7. Yeah, so it's I'm one hour earlier than you, Bernadette. So if you're at 7 at your place, it's 6 here. So 6 is when I'll start. So that will actually be... Um, that would actually work out just fine because it should not even take an hour to finish this. Perfect. Let's see here. Oh, you're welcome, Christina. Well, Chris, Christina, I'm not sure about that. I'll have to check into that simply because. Right now, I cannot locate anything with actual Swarovski crystals because they have to have a flat back on them to adhere to the adhesive. But that's something I will check into for sure. What happens is I send my artwork to the manufacturer and they convert it into one of these kits is how that, is how that works. So, 
Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Happy Good Friday. If I don't see you all tomorrow, hopefully I will see you Sunday. But if not, and I don't see you before, have a very happy Easter. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you tomorrow night. I'll get that listed and posted here right when I close all this down. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. You're welcome, everyone. Thank you.